Before we get into the pork belly, I just wanted to take a second to thank today's sponsor, hashtag FabFitFunPartner. I haven't done a collab with FabFitFun in a couple years, so I feel so blessed to be doing one today. This is such a great spring fling option <laughs> to gift someone, to gift yourself. And of course, you can use my code to get 20% off for a value box of $350 for as low as $47.99. That's a great deal. <laughs> so what do we have in here? Oh my God, we're like matching right now. This is so cute. Love it. <sighs> oh, I'm telling you, just one item in here will cost the entire box. Okay, let's see what it says inside. All the different brands I work with. Ooh, what is this that I got? Certified Toxic Free 100% Natural. Ooh, wait, is this what I think it is? Purifying Body Exfoliant. Ooh, I've been wanting body. Ooh, it means that girl. So I got a body exfoliant. That's super, that's cute. Girl, what is going on? <laughs> we have a leave-in conditioner by Aveda. Aveda is such a good company to purchase from. They're all natural, I believe. And we have a leave-in conditioner. If you've been watching any hair videos lately, you will know that leave-in conditioners are like the main thing that you need in your hair care routine. What do we have here? <gasps> yes. Oh my God, I've been needing a new cream. Like this alone would cost the entire box. So we have a facial cream here. Oof. Okay, super cute, we love her. What else we got here? We have a daily vulva wash, pH balancing cleanser. I've been wanting that. <laughs> Washing your vulva is really, really important. While I'm, on, while I'm unboxing this, let's talk about how someone can sign up and be billed for FabFitFun. So you can either be billed once every three months or you can be billed once every annually. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, a hydrating cream. And girl, we are a matching. I need a hydrating cream for around the eyes and my forehead. Oh my God, it smells so good. Nice. Earth Harbor Reparative Eye Cream. Oh, use this on like my eyes and my forehead, TBH. <laughs> this spring, they're offering anyone who signs up for a box two different options. One in which, I'm gonna tell you while I open this. The first option is if you sign up uh, to get billed once every three months, you get 20% off. So that would be the first code right here. And then the second code is if you sign up for annually, you get a $200 gift. I mean, if you're doing this as a gift for yourself, personally, you know, it's really nice to have something come in that is more worth its value and you're paying less, you know what I mean? It's a gift to yourself. It like keeps you motivated, keeps you going throughout the day, keeps you going throughout the month, so. Here we have, I'm really excited about these. These are the plates that I picked. <laughs> There's a bunch of options. They'll send you like a link of which items you like more and then they'll send you a box curated based on that. Oh my God, these are so cute. And they match me. Oh, um, that's so cute. Oh my God, I love that. That's adorable. This is gonna be so good for side dishes. All my little Korean side dishes that I love. Ooh, uh, so cute. Oh, look at the pink one. Ooh, I'm so excited to put side dishes on this now. So depending on how you like to spend your money, you can either go ahead and purchase the build every three months for 20% off, or you could do annually and get a $200 gift. Ooh, nice. So all these here you can see is worth more than the actual box um, and yeah, it's great. It's a great gift to have. So if you would like to sign up, my codes are all down below. And thank you so much FabFitFun for sponsoring this video. <laughs> I'm feeling like an influencer again. I mean, I feel like I, I'm feeling like a YouTuber again. Wow, I, I just got a sponsorship. How great is that? And it's FabFitFun, one of my favorite companies to work with. <laughs>
Okay, wow, we have so much going on here. Let's start by cooking some of this. Here I have the brined pork belly. And then over here, here we have the dry brined pork belly, which was initially supposed to be like a crispy Chinese style pork belly. But I don't know, I lose my brain sometimes when I'm cooking. Like if one thing doesn't go right, a couple things didn't go right with this. So I just decided to do a dry brine anyways. We have a dry brine, we have this. I also slowly cooked these in the uh, toaster oven at 250, because that's the lowest setting, for about 30, 40 minutes. And honestly, I feel like it's gonna be really juicy. I, all the other times I've cooked pork belly without taking these steps, it's always ended up really dry. So this time I was like, you know what? I wanna take some extra steps because I love a juicy pork belly. So right away, I'm gonna grab one of the brined ones that we did. I'm going to put it on here. I want some of the butter. I mean, the good part about this also is that it's not going to take long to cook because it's basically already cooked. It just seems to sear pretty much. So, this shouldn't be too long. <laughs> While that's going, I'm going to try one of the kimbap that I have here. If this is my favorite way to make it, but I overdid the rice and I don't like wasting things, so I'm just going to eat it anyways like this. Oh yeah, see it's cooking so fast. It's cutting really easy too. Usually I have a little bit of a harder time cutting it. Let's go for one of these pieces of pork belly here. Mm. <laughs> Just by itself. Mm. Definitely juicier. Mm. Mm. The garlic is adding so much flavor to the pork belly. The pork belly is very plain because I didn't add too much seasoning to it. 
I just wanted to test brining it first before I added seasoning. And I like it. I want to really enjoy this one and then I'm going to try the other one to really like take in whether or not it's better, it's worse, it's the same. This is the new thing I've been doing, mixing green tea with flavored water, flavored sparkling water, carbonated water. <laughs> it's really great. <laughs> I think sprouted garlic has more antioxidants. I don't know, me, fake nails, gloves, and chopsticks do not go well together. Really good.
Mm. Wood ear mushroom. Mm. It's cooked perfectly. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to try the one that was dry brined. So this one. Trying different cooking methods is probably one of my favorite things to do when it comes to meat. So I definitely like putting it in the oven before putting it on here because already it's taking a lot of time to kind of loosen up, you know? This one is the one I put in the oven. It's the same dry brine. I think I'm gonna put it on, you know? I'm gonna cut it. It's kind of taking longer than the other one. This, oh, the sugar is really catching. And it's definitely giving it more color than the, than the wet one. Mm. Oh. It's definitely getting hotter a lot faster. Okay, I think we're okay to try it now. I'm gonna go for the oven dry brine one. So I'll put this one in the oven beforehand. It's got a lot of color on it. <clears throat>
<clears throat> you know what? Let me go for another piece here. It's still pretty juicy. It's just really hot. <laughs> It's juicy. It actually there's a little more salt on it, so it has a little bit more flavor. Okay, this was the one dry brine, but not put in the oven. Still cooked though. And also boiled. I also boiled this one. I didn't boil that one. to make up my mind right now is it juicier is it not juicier this one's more flavorful i think more of the salt got into it mm. i want to cook this a little bit more Belly and kimchi love each other. Match made in heaven. <laughs> I think I like this version more. This version has slightly more flavor. But for some reason, I like the other one more. It's juicier. There's some dry bits in it in this one in the meat and i think that's probably mostly because i boiled it <laughs> well in the future i accidentally boiled it a little bit too much i like forgot about it but in the future i won't be doing that okay let's laugh my grandparents have been wanting some so let me go get them 